Hey everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. It's all about being successful in a 10 mark question with an item, with a particular focus on how to improve the AO2 skill. We're going to look at a question from the family topic, childhood, a student answer, and give some pointers about how to improve and be successful. Just a cheeky reminder about what you have to do on a 10 mark when applying from the item. It is really important as it appears on all three A-level papers. You've got 15 minutes to answer, seven and a half minutes per paragraph. Make sure you've got two equally balanced paragraphs. Make sure that you read the item carefully. This will provide the hooks. You've got to quote them or reference them. The hooks are placed by the examiner for you to develop and add your knowledge to. And also look for the question hooks. This will give you further opportunity to show application of your knowledge. Here's an example question from paper two, section A, family and household, childhood topic. So pause it if you need to, but I want you to spend some time reading the question and the item and just start to take some notes about what you could possibly put in this answer. OK, so you've got your item there and the question is asking you apply material from item A. Analyze two changes in the position of children in society over the last 100 years, and it is worth 10 marks. So let's have a read through this student's answer. At first glance, it looks like two equally balanced paragraphs, and both have explained we've got two changes in the position of children, we've got compulsory schooling and a little bit of an explanation and analysis, and also we have got the 1989 Children's Act and some explanation there. So at first glance, it does look like a decent answer. So what mark do you think that this student has got? So pause it and just have a read through, but what mark do you think that this student has got? And join in back when you're ready. According to the examiner, this student gave some really good explanations to why the position of children has improved with analysis, however, hasn't developed the points from the item and if you don't use the item you will not get more than three out of ten and this is because they did not use the AO2 skill of application they failed to apply their knowledge to the hooks in the item so what could the students have done so let's go back to the question it clearly instructs you to apply material from item A analyze two changes in the position of childhood so the two changes are going to be hidden within the item for you to find and the challenge or the skill that you are being um, asked to use is to be able to interpret the item select the correct knowledge that you have learned and apply it to answer the question so let's have a look at the possible hooks and the possible knowledge that you could apply Possible hook number one, parents today spend a great deal of time and money trying to make sure that the children enjoy a comfortable upbringing. So this was right at the beginning of the item. So what could you have wrote? So picking up the point about money, by the time a child reaches the age of their 21st birthday, they will have cost their parents over 227000 so you could have referenced that. In talking about a great deal of time, you could talk about leisure resources and what leisure opportunities that there is available for families and for children. You could give some examples of that. And the example of quality time that you might have learned about when you were doing topic one, the division of labour. You could also talk about this is from a viewpoint where it is a golden age of innocence. It's very much a Western notion of childhood where children are being protected. They are the centre or child centredness. You could refer to culture in that sense. Um, and that the fact that people have fewer children, but they spend more time on them and more money on them as well. Looking at possible hook number two, they want the children to have opportunities that they would themselves never had. So you could link to educational opportunities, for example, compulsory education. You could talk about aspirations for their children or social mobility and the fact that we have got a lot more socially and economically mobile movements within families. You don't normally follow in your parents' footsteps in terms of the job or the careers that they would go to you've got more opportunities in that sense um you've also got 
the rise in dual earner families, if you think back to topic one, the division of labour, and that will mean that a lot of families are a lot more better off. So there's a lot more disposable income in order to invest on their children as well as well as meeting their emotional needs and this idea of being very much child-centred in the opportunities that they're giving their children. Regarding hook number three, March of Progress, sociologists argue that these changes in family life, so you can develop that by talking about who are the March of Progress. So these are Aries and Shorter who are looking at childhood from a historical viewpoint and they recognise that throughout the ages that uh, childhood has got better because there is a better standard of living. This has had a positive impact on the infant mortality rate. Nice cheeky link to topic um, demography um, and the impact on the birth rate. And because of that, we have got cleaner housing, we have got better living conditions, and that means babies aren't dying. So what you have as a result is fewer children. And this has had a knock-on effect on child-centeredness families. These children are better valued, more cared for and more protected. Just, and in generally, in wider society, there's these child protection legislations that are protecting children within the family home from abuse, um, etc. And, and this has differed from the past where there was parental indifference. So you can analyse it historically um, that there was parental indifference um, to their children because the infant mortality rate was so high. Now, remember, we've gone through three possible hooks here. You only have to write about two of these. You only have to do two of them. So you choose the two that you have the most knowledge about. Further tip that I could give to showcase AO2 skills is making it clear that you are applying it to the question set. And this student would benefit from that. Use the wording from the question in the explanations. So as well as using the item and making it really obvious, when you're then explaining what that item means, have um, a sentence that says, this means the position of children has changed because that's what the question is asking for. And you are focusing your answer to what the question has asked for. In summary, you've got 15 minutes to write two equally balanced but bulky paragraphs. Make sure you quote the item and lead your explanation from the item following a logical chain of reasoning. That is where when you say one thing, you explain it in the next sentence and you further develop your answer. This will show a basic level of analysis because you're linking the concepts, the names, the studies, the explanations together. You can then show further analysis or evaluation to get that solid AO3, e.g. for example, has the position of children improved for all children and you might want to use cages to develop that. If not, why not? You can then show some evaluation or some criticisms to get AO3 marks because there is an item there available. So your turn, have a go at writing a paragraph for this question. Use the item, possible hooks and apply your knowledge. Or you could go back to where I give you the student answer and you can have a go at rewriting it. Also, make sure that you refer to analysis and what you can do there is use cages. And if you're not sure about how to analyse in family and household, you guessed it, I've got another video. It's called A Star Sociology, How to Analyse in Family and Household Paper 2. Link is below. And if you jump to five minutes in, that's where I look at analysis in the childhood topic specifically. A massive thank you for watching. This video has outlined how to show application in AO2 in a 10 market analyse from the item, paper two. Thank you so much. Have a really good day and I shall see you again soon. Bye bye.